Conditional formatting is a great tool for automatically formatting data in Excel based on the condition present in a cell. For example, we can use conditional formatting to highlight automatically all unfavorable budget variances in red and all favorable budget variances in blue. Given the power of using conditional formatting on traditional Excel ranges, many Excel users would like to use this tool on charts and often ask the question, can we apply conditional formatting to charts? The short answer is, no, conditional formatting does not work on chart data. The longer answer is, however, with a little creativity, we can trick Excel into applying what appears to be conditional formatting. For instance, as currently shown on the screen, when we take salesperson Adam's first quarter sales and change those to $675,000, we see that salesperson Adam's data is presented in blue because the chart is intended to highlight the highest selling salesperson's data in blue. And likewise, when we take salesperson Tyler's data and change it to 75,000, then salesperson Tyler's data is shown in red because we want the lowest selling salesperson's data to be shown in red. In this tip, we will show you how, with a little creativity, you can build just such a chart in Excel that appears to apply conditional formatting. Consider the data currently shown on the screen. Sales data is presented for each of 13 salespersons. You have been charged with the responsibility of creating a chart containing this data and also having the top performing salesperson's data as well as the bottom performing salesperson's data formatted differently than the rest of the data on the chart. To accomplish your task, you will need to create three additional data columns and plot those three columns of data and not the original column of sales data in a stacked column chart. The revised outline of your worksheet should resemble that currently shown on the screen. In cell C3 and the remainder of the cells extending in the range through cell C15, the formula currently shown on the screen is used to identify the maximum sales value in the range and to populate that value into the appropriate cell in column C. That formula reads equals if parentheses B3 equals max parentheses B3 through B15 close parentheses comma B3 comma zero close parentheses. Enter that formula and copy it down the range. As you can see, it identifies the largest value in the range and populates the largest value in the corresponding cell in column C. All other cells in column C are populated with a value of zero. In column D, enter a very similar formula, except in this case we'll use a min function instead of a max function to identify the smallest value in the range of data from B3 through B15. More specifically, the formula that should be entered into cell D3 is equal if parentheses B3 equals min parentheses B3 through B15 close parentheses comma B3 comma zero close parentheses. Upon entering that formula and copying it all the way down the range we find that it identifies the smallest value in the range of B3 through B15 and populates the smallest value into the corresponding cell in column D and also fills in all other cells with a value of zero. The last formula that is required is perhaps the simplest one. In column E, more specifically in cell E3, enter B3 minus C3 minus D3. This formula is used to identify all values that are neither the highest nor the smallest value in the range. Enter the formula and copy it down throughout the remaining cells in column E, as you currently see on the screen. Once your data is arranged in the format currently shown on the screen, creating a stacked cylinder chart that plots that data and appears to apply conditional formatting is a fairly simple task. To do so, first, highlight the data ranges as currently shown on the screen. Notice we're highlighting the salesperson's name, the maximum value column, the minimum value column, and the remainder column. Next, from the Insert tab of the ribbon, choose column chart and pick any of the stacked options in this case we'll choose stacked cylinder 
Upon doing so, Excel creates a stacked cylinder chart that highlights all salesperson's data. Importantly, all of the zero values are included on the chart, but because they are in fact zero values, they appear to be missing. This is the key that gives us the illusion of conditional formatting. We of course can dress up our chart and format it any way we would like. To draw a sharper distinction in the colors, in this case I changed the green data series and made it yellow. Charting is a terrific way of enhancing the readability and understandability of the data on which you report. Conditional formatting is also a tremendous mechanism for doing the same. Combining these two tools by tricking Excel into doing something it technically cannot do allows you to create reports that clearly and effectively communicate your intended message. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.